I recently had a uh, trip down to uh, East Point Mall, not to the mall itself explicitly, but in that general area. And that triggered uh, different memories for me. Uh, me and my mom used to go to East Point all the time, you know. The unfortunate thing about that is we went to East Point on the bus. And uh, if you know anything about public transportation, it took like what seemed like four hours to get there. You know, when we left our house, man, it just seemed like we would leave the house in the early morning and we wouldn't get there till like noon, one o'clock, and it just was like, good grief, man. We've been we've been on we've been on this bus, and then you might have to, depending on where we lived at at, at that time, you might have to take the train, and then you got to take the, another bus, you know. And at that time, it was the 23. The 23 went from all the way um, from one side of town to the other. So you would get the 23 going to either Middle River or Essex and it would take you, you know, to East Point. And, uh, and what kind of tripped me out about the whole deal was um, I was just driving and I took the tunnel. But, I mean, I got out East Point in probably 12 minutes, you know, from my house. And I don't live anywhere close to East Point Mall at all remotely. And I really got there super, super quick. You know, I did take the tunnel, but I mean, I got there super fast during rush hour traffic. And that just was even funnier to me just because how long we were on the bus or waiting for a bus or just on, I mean, I would literally get on the bus kind of doze off, try to keep myself occupied, doze off, wake up, still not there. You know, kind of, you know, in and out, still not there. And then it was always this marker point where I could know that we were almost there. And that's where the uh, the exit let me off at yesterday to let me know uh, that was we were close to East Point. And I said, man, this was this was the the marker that let me knew that uh, we were almost there. We were literally like two, three stops away from being at the mall. Um, and like I said, got there in, in 12 minutes. Um, but on the bus, man, it just seems like you're just on there forever. It seems like you, it takes you about two, three hours to get there. And, um, you know, the marker is nothing really. It's just like this uh, upward stone structure, really. Uh, and it's just a couple little houses on the side and that's just I just remembered you know that, hey this we're almost there it's, it's time to get myself together and get off so because it's almost uh, we're almost at the mall and uh, I mean I haven't actually been to East Point Mall and man I, I couldn't even tell you the last time it has to be over 20 years you know so I haven't been to East Point in, a, in, in forever. I have no reason to. But, um, you know, that was just a, a trippy little memory yesterday. But East Point used to be super dope, man, because it was, I mean, back then, it was one of the, uh, one of the malls that had uh, an arcade, you know. And, uh, you know, my mom would go to Value City and, she would go to um, she would go to all the stores that she needed to go to, and, and uh, one thing that was super dope about my mom, she never needed me to be right by her side. You know, she never needed me to just stay with her the whole time. She know I was I was either in the arcade or I was by the card shop. You know, uh, buying comics or buying comic book cards or something like that, or buying uh, football cards. I never really. I, I, I didn't I, back then I wasn't interested in clothes so I wasn't in any clothing stores um, I wasn't super I wasn't going to the the food court because we would always eat together so it wasn't really too many places that she would have to look for me and I knew exactly how to find her as well uh, I could go right to Value City and go to the layaway line 
and go to uh, the little places that I knew that she would be. And I mean, I, we never had an issue finding each other. And that was in any mall, in, in Rice's Town Plaza, in, in uh, uh, Westview, never had an issue finding each other. Um, so, but uh, yeah, East Point was dope because they, their, their, um, their arcade was called uh, Aladdin. And uh, it was dark. Westview's, West, I think Westview's was called Aladdin too. And they were dark. They were both dark. Uh, very dark inside. Um, but this was, this was the, the 90s, mid 90s. It was full of, full of kids. Full of new arcade games. And, uh, you know, bustling, man. Bustling. And lines to play the game next. Lines for people to play Street Fighter 2. And lines for people to play Mortal Kombat. Uh, so, um, the, the, the arcade time was a cool time in, in, uh, in history. And that's why I just like, uh, going to that mall because they had an arcade and it was super cool. Like Owens Mills didn't have an arcade. So if you went out there, you were kind of out of luck. Um, and there really wasn't much to do if you went out Owens Mills, but that's on a tangent. Um, and, um. East Point had uh, the McDonald's, but they had the McDonald's with the uh, McDonald's character statues in the actual restaurant. Uh, so that was kind of cool, too. It was a, a, a cool time. It was a cool period of time. East Point was, you know, we went down there a lot, you know, but uh, East Point, East Point had, his, had, his, had his ups and downs. It just was so far. You know, it was just so far. You waiting on that 23. Oh my God. It just felt like it felt like it was either never going to come or it was, you were never going to get to the actual mall. But, um, and, and East Point, like Westview, had a King's Court, uh, restaurant in there. And, uh, me and my mom would go in there most of the time, you know, after she was finished, uh, with, uh, being in the layaway line, we get something to eat. We be back waiting for the bus going uptown, and you wait on the bus on the other side, and it's a uh, there's a Dunkin' Donuts across. We didn't really go, we didn't go into the Dunkin' Donuts, but I just it was a Dunkin' Donuts on the other side, and sometimes we would walk down uh, to the bus stop previous to that because it'd be less people, and it'd just be you know you can get on get on with uh, less hassle and just you know just be quiet and just could chill out a bit more so that was just a little trigger memory from yesterday cool cool little trip down memoir lane 